If your social media feed lights up with a huge snow map screaming, historic blizzard coming, pause. It might be right, but there's a good chance you're looking at clickbait, or at least a misleading winter storm forecast. In this video, I'll give you five red flags to spot bad snow forecasts and clickbait in seconds. And at the end, I'll show you how to pick out the most trustworthy winter weather sources from all the noise online. If you want clear, no hype winter storm explainers, hit subscribe to Untamed Skies so you don't miss the rest of this winter weather series. Winter storms are complicated, and there's a simple truth about weather forecasts. The farther out in time you look, the harder it is to say exactly what will happen, where and when. A good winter storm forecast isn't just a single snow number on a map. It should give you a range of possible outcomes and be clear about timing and uncertainty so you're not caught off guard by snow, sleet, freezing rain, or any of the impacts that come with a winter storm. With that in mind, here are the top five red flags to watch for in winter forecasts. Stick around to the end because then we'll talk about how to tell if a source is legit. Red flag number one, extreme numbers with no range. If you see a snow map showing 10, 20, or 30 inches of snow as one exact number, with no range, no probabilities, and no mention of how certain the forecast is, then that map is basically saying, this one scenario is what will happen. That's called a deterministic forecast. It picks a single outcome and presents it as the answer. That used to be more common a generation ago, but today, with what we know about the atmosphere, that's a red flag. Why? Because weather is a chaotic system. That means we cannot predict it with exact precision. Decision. There's always a range of possible snow totals, from lower amounts to higher jackpot amounts, with a most likely zone in the middle. So the big question is, is that snow map showing the most likely amount, or a higher end, less likely scenario picked just to get clicks? If you don't know where on the probability curve that number sits, you can't tell if it's realistic or if it's cherry-picked clickbait. Now, Big numbers by themselves aren't always wrong. We all know epic snow totals happen. Think Buffalo, New York and intense lake effect snow off Lake Erie, or the High Sierra during a strong atmospheric river. The problem isn't the large number. The problem is when you only see one exact number with no range and no probabilities. That's your first red flag. Red flag number two, a forecast based on one single computer model. Meteorologists use high-powered computer models to generate possible future scenarios. Different models have different strengths and weaknesses, perform better or worse by season, region, or storm type, and their skill can change day by day. Because of that, meteorologists don't just grab one model and call it good. They look at many models and many model runs to find consensus, and then they decide where to lean or hedge that consensus with their own human expertise. You've probably seen this with hurricanes in the form of spaghetti plots. Lots of squiggly lines showing different possible tracks. That's model spread. Winter weather is trickier to visualize because we're not tracking a single point like a hurricane eye. We're looking at wide areas of snow and ice. But the same idea applies. What matters is the spread of possible scenarios, not just one model's run. So if a forecast on social media shows only one model map, that's another red flag. It might be the most extreme member of the pack, cherry-picked for shock value instead of accuracy. Red flag number three, detailed snow maps more than about five to seven days away. With our current state of the science, we cannot reliably predict the specific impacts of a particular storm more than about five to seven days in advance. Beyond a week, we can talk about general patterns like this region looks colder or warmer than normal, or this area looks wetter or drier than normal. But specific details, like exact snow totals for a particular storm at a specific location, simply don't have skill that far out. And honestly, even a couple of days out can be challenging. So watch the timestamp on the map. Look for the forecast hour or F number, for example, F120, beyond 120 hours, about five days, be very cautious. Beyond 168 hours, about seven days, most meteorologists call that fantasy land. Another issue with deterministic model maps is that they look crisp and certain, even far out in time. That can lull people into a false sense of confidence. If we were totally honest about uncertainty, the map should actually get blurrier and blurrier as you go forward in time, until eventually you can barely tell where the storm even is. So if you see highly detailed snow maps for a storm 8 to 10 days away, that's a big red flag. Red flag number four, no clear start and end time for the snow totals. Snow maps can be tricky because they don't always tell you if these totals are for a 24 hour period or for the entire storm spread over several days, or even an accumulation including multiple storms. I've even seen some maps showing a predicted total amount of snow for an entire winter season, which you should take with a grain of salt as we just discussed for red flag number three. Bottom line is if the map is not clearly labeled, you might think things will be worse or more intense 
intense than they actually will be in any one time window. On top of that, there's a difference between how much snow falls from the sky and how much actually accumulates on the ground. Melting, compaction, and previous snow on the ground all matter. So always check, does the map or caption say 24 hour total, storm total, or something else? And does it give a specific time window for those totals? If not, that's another red flag. Red flag number five, no clear data source. If you see a forecast map and there's no labeled source, ask yourself, which computer model is this from, if any? Is it based on real data? Or did someone just make it up as some AI slop? A key part of legitimate science is that it should be independently checkable. Other people should be able to look at the same data, use similar methods, and decide if the forecast is reasonable or not. There's no data source, that process breaks down. You can't verify or falsify the forecast. So always ask, where did this data come from? If that isn't clear, that's a serious red flag. So how do you know if a winter storm forecast online is actually reliable, especially since even good forecasts aren't always perfect? Social media has a big upside. It democratizes access to information. Anyone can share forecast ideas and analysis. The downside is anyone can share forecasts, whether they know what they're doing or not. So here are a few quick checks. Number one, is it from an official or reputable organization? In the US, forecasts from the National Weather Service or NWS are considered official. Licensed broadcast stations are legally required to relay NWS watches, warnings, and advisories, and their own forecasts are generally reliable. Number two, who is the person behind the forecast? For private companies and individuals on social media, do a quick background check. Do they have a degree in meteorology? If not, do they have decades of forecasting experience, maybe in the military or another established organization? If they're a broadcaster, do they have a seal from the American Meteorological Society, AMS, or a similar professional group? These are all votes of confidence from the meteorological community that this person has the expertise to make a solid forecast. No matter who the forecast is from, run it through this checklist. Number one, are the extreme snow totals presented as one exact number with no range? Number two, is the forecast based on only a single computer model map? Number three, is the time range way out in fantasy land beyond about five to seven days? Number four, does the map clearly show the time window for those snow totals? And number five, is there a clear data source listed? If a forecast passes the sniff test, you can be much more confident that you're looking at a trustworthy winter storm forecast, not just clickbait. It still won't be perfect because a perfect forecast is impossible, but it's far more likely to be honest and useful. In future videos, we're going to dig into how computer models actually work and how they help us wrangle the chaos of the atmosphere. So if you've ever heard of the butterfly effect and wondered what it has to do with your daily weather, make sure you subscribe to Untamed Skies, turn on notifications, and drop a comment. I'd love to hear whether you've ever seen a big snow map before realizing it was clickbait. What tipped you off? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.